Hello everybody. Um, yeah, today we're gonna sh I'm gonna show you how to open a program which came with the computer already with CMD. Now, uh, for those for those who don't know what CMD is, this is CMD basically. Now, uh, I haven't tried uh, a program of your own. So, like, let's say you got uh, Security 360. I don't know if you can open it with CMD, but let's say something like Calculator or Google Chrome, uh, you can. Okay, now for those, I mean, say Windows 8, 7, I mean 8. So for those who have a Windows 8, to open CMD, you have to right click here to the Windows logo and press one of these two. I always use this one, but you know, I don't know, I, know, I don't know the difference, but anyway. But if you're using Windows 7, we have to do is you can press run and press notepad and type notepad. Or you can just, you know, if you know where it is, notepad. Then you have to type this at echo space off, I mean, off enter cmd dot exe at echo on. Now this is actually very important. You have to copy just literally this. And then you just press save or save us. Uh let's see desktop. Now you can name it whatever you want, like I don't know, whatever, but then it has to be dot dot bat. It has to end in dot bat. That's very important. Because if it doesn't, it's not gonna work. Now once you saved it will appear obviously and you have to open it and there you go you have cmd uh now once you got that on so once you got cmd on uh i'm just gonna show you quickly a, a quick one so start call <sighs> see if you type that obviously it will open cal the calculator but you know for those who don't know or can't not open like an application folder. Uh, uh, I will I will leave the like the commands on the uh, comments below. So yeah, okay. But for Windows A, what I do, what I tend to do is go here, you go to here, you have all the applications here, all programs, and then I just type here. Uh, what was it? I don't know. Like call later you have that you right click it and you go to open full loca file location yeah so basically this is kind of all the things all the uh, like programs you can open with CMD but obviously you cannot you don't you're not gonna copy the name we have to just right click it go to properties Oh, oh, wait, right click it, go to properties, and then you see the name. So, wait, so you go to properties, and you see this, the, it says calc exe. So, that's what you have to type. You only you have to type the whatever is in front of the exe, so whatever is in front of the dot exe, but behind or after. The backslash. So you know, as I said, a calculator. Okay, but then let's say maps input panel properties. I say it's mip. Okay, so that's what you do. So you go to CMD, you press start. Uh, what was it? Let's see, mip. I press enter, and there you go. See. Uh, now as I said, I am gonna leave all the like names for them i'm gonna leave all the names on the description below but if you obviously as i said if you cannot open it or know how to get it i'm gonna leave this in the description below as well so you, you know so you can just type it and there's some secret ones so like let's say you can press the start explorer and it will open 
basically this. You can also type if you have Google Chrome, you can type start Chrome. Yep, and it would open Chrome. Uh, yeah, you see there. It will open it. You can also press start and type start, and that's it. And you can also do this start type. It's actually pretty good. I, I like it, man. I found out. I just found out today. It's pretty interesting. But you can do this start 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 uh a start 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 wait start and then if you press enter and just you know it's gonna be an exception for today oh yeah before I continue actually there's also this watch uh wait uh let's see there's also what start menu wait uh where is it i forgot yeah here so basically here if you ever actually find you get this like i don't know for me it didn't work you can't try but uh, you know for me it didn't work so i doubt it will work for yours so let's say here i go to properties photos up let's see let's start photos up see it, it doesn't work and i've touched it wait photos up yeah, I've typed it correctly. Uh, so if you know if you know how to actually fix that or something, please don't comment. Tell me, cause I wanna know. Photos, photos app. Yeah, photos app. Yeah, you know what? So yeah, so. Uh, you know, but now you know for the yeah. Let me. I don't want to forget this. That's in Windows access access uh apps that sorry, that's the apps the programs. But in in Windows system as well, there's this four uh which are you know you got they work as well. Cause I tried them. This ones do work. Like start power shell. I don't really know what that is, but it's not gonna do any damage to the computer anyways. Cause if it's a program, uh, uh, I doubt. Start power shell. Yeah, what? Oh, that looks sick. Uh, yeah. Mm. Just for the for those who don't know how this works, I recommend you to don't really touch it because uh, you know it can actually do something if you use it in a bad way. So please, let's say this. Let's see this one. So yeah, make with okay, of course. Stop. Let's see what this is. Um. Oh, I know what it is. It's to send to transfer files and all that. Okay. Interesting. Task Manager. I know what that is. I know this like uh. It's basically here. Task manager. Basically, you can control everything your pro your computer is working with. So, like I don't know. So this you see task manager obviously Windows command process. So that's this CMD. I Windows Explorer obviously. 
Uh, anyways, I'm gonna leave that them for the other ones in the uh, and I think it's below this. Don't try either. It didn't work for me. Let's see if it actually. Let's see if it's gonna work or. Work. Uh, let's see. Let's start. S A P I S I S V R. Yep, yeah, I knew it. it didn't work. Sub peaceful. Okay, it didn't work. Anyway, uh, you know previously when I showed you when you type all the starts, so you know start start start. Start. Uh, you know how, like, kind of five windows of the CMD open like this. One, two, three, four. You can make them to a virus, and I'm gonna show you quickly. It's gonna be an exception for today, but I'm just gonna show you quickly. So you open Notepad, and you type. Uh, yeah, you type. I think is at echo of I'm telling you for now all this I'm learning it for myself I'm not copying it so for those who actually think I'm copying from other people please so then you type a start start a start well start 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 and then from there you can copy it. Copy. So you can copy it, copy it, copy it. Copy, you can copy it. So as you copy it. Uh, please, I don't know if it's gonna work or what, but you actually want it to be even, well, equal, basically. You want it to be e even like that, equal, and then you forfeit to finish it at uh, echo on. I don't really know if this is gonna work. I don't know if this is gonna work, so I'm just gonna try. I'm just gonna try. I'm just gonna try. Now you save that as something dot back. You save. You, let's see what happens. Yep. So basically, it's gonna do all this. Yep. See you later. See you next time.